Howdy, 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 my beautiful Scorpio. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today, darling, I'm going to be getting into your weekly tarot reading for December 2021. So if you find some tarot cards that resonate with you in this tarot reading today, Scorpio, let me know in the comments below which cards do and how, um, as well as if you do enjoy this tarot reading or you just enjoy my vibe. I really would appreciate it, Scorpio, if you were to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help me out a lot, and I appreciate it when you do that extra step. Be sure to be looking at your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign, Scorpio, to get the full spectrum of what is going down for you in your life as well as check out your monthly tarot reading uh scorpio so you can just understand everything daily all right um be sure to also be on the lookout for the secret word to be popping up in this video to be leaving in the comments below darling if you do see it so you can uh, enter the raffle for the uh giveaway for a private uh to have a chance to win a private reading with me scorpio all right so all that being said let's just jump right into your tarot reading your weekly tarot reading uh, now Scorpio let's just see where the vibes are at and the just, just uh, general going on of things for you starting this out the page of wands really wanted to come out I'm currently using the Disney villains tarot deck that a lovely subscriber gifted to me page of wands coming in for you yeah uh, Scorpio definitely doors opening up for you opportunities it feels as if Scorpio this page of wands is presenting itself to you at a time of where almost as if like you had like you were in the process of walking away from something you're walking away from a door that you closed um walking away from a person uh almost scorpio i feel for many of you guys i kind of get this scenario of where a little cameo from tulip honey of where you break it off with a situation or you choose to move on from a situation scorpio and it's from that situation there of you moving on that's when new opportunity lines up for you i feel like you get a very strong affirmation scorpio that you are making the right decision in this regard um because of just how almost in instantaneous it feels scorpio of this new opportunity setting itself up for you you have these seven of wands so you're garnering a lot of attention by you walking away from another situation scorpio you're garnering a lot of attention you have a lot of eyes on you at this current point in time each thing each door right seven doors seven wands here each door uh presenting itself a new opportunity a new way of being for you right you know each person having their own intent some of you it may be just an offer of just connection right of companionship platonic or romantic scorpio for others of you it might be a situation of something you know to gain further finances or some type of career it just feels like there's no one set direction that all this attention is coming in with uh scorpio and it just feels very generalized of where it's like whatever it is that you were walking away from scorpio um you have so much abundance just coming forward to you after the fact that it's really inspiring right I, you really it's almost as if like your spirit guides your ancestors to start just really spoiling you darling for really walking away from an extremely painful situation that was really hard for you to walk away from i know it's pretty painful for you scorpio because i did pull the ten of swords for you during your pre-shuffle as well so i am getting just this reference overall that you guys were um dealing with some pretty heavy stuff here and then yeah the devil card coming in darling so whatever it is you walked away from darling this devil here intentionally or not they are really blocking so much positivity coming into your life i can't help but feel as if scorpio you don't even realize just how much of an energetic leech a vampire this other energy was that you were really trying to make work in your life uh thankfully you did choose to walk away from this so I'll allow this reading to be that extra confirmation that you did make the right choice uh scorpio because it's like even if you're scared right now and you haven't made the move yet uh scorpio that's all right all right just know that once you do take the leap of faith darling in this regard because i did pull the fool card for you in your pre-shuffle as well uh scorpio that uh you're taken care of darling your spirit guides your spiritual team just in general make sure that you are taken care of and then yeah we have the ten of pentacles coming into you uh coming for you rather uh this that doesn't even sound any better anyway scorpio uh ten of pentacles refers to your stability uh refers to just being just not lacking in anything really especially your finances it's really crazy by you choosing to walk away scorpio it's like you're opening up a dam of just abundance that was just locked away that i don't even think you were aware of just how much this was like waiting for you uh to make that move waiting for you to just you know open that door uh scorpio i feel like you're going to be genuinely 
really surprised by just how much this devil energy, whatever this is for you, some of you, it's going to be a habit. For many of you, it's going to be an actual person is holding back for you others of you it might even be like a job you're clinging on to an old job um that was just always consistent for you and you've just been working there for a long time but it just wasn't paying the bills darling i feel as if whatever it is like you're going to be provided in tenfold with whatever this page of wands opportunity has for you scorpio all right continuing on we have here the Six of Wands. All right. Yeah, this is a newer deck for me, so I'm still getting used to the artwork. The Six of Wands stepping forward for you, Scorpio. My favorite tarot card in the deck, darling. All right. It's my absolute favorite because by definition, the Six of Wands is that fame and fortune. All right. It's my favorite tarot card outside of the Major Arcana for you. So really, you just have success after success after success of just really strong affirming cards for the direction and the path that you are taking, uh, Scorpio. So really see this as your sign like if you haven't left this devil situation yet darling i really hope that you start considering so after this reading uh all right scorpio and then we have the ten of uh girl this was the ten of cups or ten of pentacles y'all i was probably holding up this ten of cups i don't have my glasses with me right now scorpio so forgive me but this is the ten of cups and this is the ten of coins uh pentacles i'm gonna leave that in too i don't even care darling you got both of the tens now you know was, <laughs> girl come on now honey um all right so you quite literally this is an extremely positive reading uh scorpio <laughs> quite literally we already talked about what the ten of pentacles would actually remind uh, be representing but now let's get into the actual ten of cups and what the ten of cups represents uh for you uh scorpio so with the ten of cups this is emotional fulfillment this is also i feel like for many of you guys scorpio um just a lot of facets in your life have just been very underwhelming for you it feels as if that you just have deserved better uh scorpio and so with the ten of cups that comes in as the message of just extreme emotional fulfillment um very positive reading in terms of just love as well for my single scorpios or those that have recently got with someone or starting to speak with somebody uh scorpio but just strong emotional fulfillment every single cup of yours being filled um definitely feels as if like uh every single desire that you ever have wanted you're going to be seeing a lot of traction in that way of making a lot of grounds i still can't believe that i wasn't <laughs> darling i don't have my glasses so forgive me but it's like it's crazy to me that the only way i caught myself is through pulling the other 10 for you and quite literally scorpio the only way as i was saying before 10 of cups 10 of or six of wands and the 10 of pentacles this is like a jackpot like you won the jackpot you won the lottery darling in terms of these cards with the page of wands this is all coming in with new opportunities with new doors this is what these new opportunities are presenting themselves with this is quite literally what this energy was holding you back from scorpio that you don't even realize it it feels as if like this energy here was downplaying your power this energy here just wasn't celebrating you or really capitalizing on or allowing you to capitalize on your strong suits or your strengths rather it's just crazy like really the only way we can make this reading even better for you scorpio is if we were to be pulling the sun card for you and that's the only way to be making this reading even more positive back of the deck is the ace of swords as well we'll just address this right off the bat honor your thoughts at this time scorpio it feels as if some of you guys have been ignoring this idea like this new avenue because i do feel as if for many of you scorpios you're having this desire you're having this craving of just uh branching off from your current path you have these ideas in mind you have something uh in mind scorpio that would be extremely profitable uh for you again i feel as if for many of you guys scorpio you guys need to let go of this old relationship or this old connection uh because you have something so much better for you man so much something so much more better um so much better there we go proper english darling proper english seven of wands come or er, swords darling seven of swords uh coming in for you scorpio on top of that page of wands so for some of you guys it's almost as if you haven't wanted to believe this idea that uh you could create this other life for yourself scorpio for others of you guys you just are in this place of denial really a feeling as if you like you want to be successful in this new path or whatever the narrative is there is just this sense uh scorpio where it's like 
it's like you think it's like too good to be true or it's not uh you're not worthy of it but eight of wands coming in on top of your seven of wands you guys are definitely moving in terms of your relationships uh scorpio i wouldn't be surprised if this comes in a, as a sense of where some of you guys are going to be traveling or moving in some way uh scorpio in regards to claiming these better uh options for you scorpio because it feels like some of you guys you got into a pretty rough environment or just an unfulfilling environment for this devil situation here and so i feel like you're just going to be transitioning uh migrating to a better environment that just is a lot more fitting for you you know it feels as if like uh scorpio you a lot of the things you were doing and i know i was kind of thinking about this in a reading that i did for you like months ago whereas like you were living your life for other people and I, like i'm getting that vibe again of where it's just like you were uh living your life for this devil and now scorpio you're starting to live your life for you rather than how this devil would feel that you're letting go of if you haven't already and then we have the tower card on top of the devil. This is what I like to see, darling. This is how you want to see the devil, or rather the tower card incorporated, darling, right? You're, cra you're uh, having a tower moment with that devil inside that tower. So you're doing away with whatever obstacles, whatever, whatever blockages were going down with this situation here, darling, right? But you have to be willing to have that tower moment. You have to be willing to pull that trigger, darling, all right? You have the Eight of Swords on this Ten of Cups coming in for you. So definitely, Scorpio, uh, you have really just like put a lock and chain on just things that would feel good to you, Scorpio. I feel as if um, either your jaw, there's something that just isn't f fulfilling to you anymore. Even if it's just with this devil, there's something that just isn't uh, filling your soul anymore, filling your cups anymore. Like you're just not happy in this current situation, Scorpio. So it's like are you waiting for permission to let this go and to go into this new direction because truly you need to scorpio because i just see so much happiness for you so much abundance after the fact darling right you have the strength card coming in here for the six of wands so some of you guys have been just uncomfortable it's almost as if some of you scorpios are have always just lived your life for like whatever that devil was about right that you guys were always uncomfortable with the idea of you being like your own person creating your own business having it under your name having everything just under your name and being just truly the figurehead scorpio and i feel as if like that's really what your calling is for is for you to be a leader it's for you to really have everything under your name you not answering to other people people answering to you uh scorpio and then we have the hanged man coming in here on that 10 of pentacles so with both of your 10s both of your abun extreme abundance cards uh scorpio what we have attached to it is just really afraid of taking a uh making a move just pulling the trigger in this way somehow this devil really has their hands just like intertwined in your life in some way and it's just like man once you're able to free your grasp away from that narcissistic energy darling scorpio it's going to be crazy for you right knight of wands coming in here i feel as if you're going to be like a kid in a candy shop once you're free from their grasps i feel like you're going to realize just how much the world is your oyster uh scorpio just how much is possible really in your life it's giving me very much so like um, I'm thinking about this uh, one Netflix show I used to watch uh, where it had like mole women who are like locked underground for like 20, 30 years because they thought there was an apocalypse. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting. Like you were just underground for like 30 years, darling. And then now when you're finally free and able to just look around in society nowadays, you're just like, holy crap, so much has changed. And you really, yeah two of cups coming in here scorpio connections love partnerships scorpio the world is your oyster all right the world is your oyster in this regard right i feel as if there's just so many eyes that you're just extremely desirable at this time scorpio whether this is in terms like in desirable in terms of business desirable in terms of romantic desirable in terms of friendships like people want to be around you scorpio people want to connect with you they it's like even though you this devil energy here they're keeping you down scorpio and it's almost as if you weren't self-aware of the fact of just like how fabulous how beautiful how intelligent you are scorpio that's like you're getting a quick reminder of just how 
much people want you or just how good you are because of how many people are like trying to gravitate and flock around you Scorpio like it's really affirming and then we have coming in here the four of wands darling come on now we're tapping this topping this energy off closing this reading off with the card of marriage the card of you know it's known as the 11 11 card the wish fulfillment card uh, also the card of the portal um, as well where you just have to take action and go for with it uh scorpio this is nothing but an extremely positive reading right some of you guys you may associate that uh, devil card as some type of soul attachment because i don't know i can't help but feel as this scorpio there's just this sense of obligation that you have towards this devil because you're adding deeper meaning to that situation than what it is right but the reality is, Scorpio, you have actual, like, genuine, like, people in your soul tribe, soul tribe waiting and ready to love you, uh, ready and uh, waiting to collaborate with you, to work with you, to talk to you, Scorpio. But you have to be willing to let go of that devil energy because it's holding you back from so much, right? This reading showcases all of that, really, I hope, is like just how much is just like being held back because of that uh, devil card. So don't be afraid of putting in that tower moments in regards to that situation, Scorpio, because like truly... It's going to be beautiful after the fact. It's going to be absolutely beautiful, okay? So that is the weekly tarot reading that I have for you, Scorpio. Hopefully you found just some cards that resonate with you. If you did, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. Comment down below how it does. Uh, be sure to be finding the secret word that was in this video so you can comment it down below to win a uh, private personal reading with me um, as well as a chance to rather, as well as if you want to book a private reading with me. My website is linked down below. So simplyvelka.com next to my social medias tiktok instagram and facebook all of that just being simply velka but until next time my beautiful scorpios i love you so much darling